Hey YouTubers and welcome to another SVG Pro video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to animate SVG files for web pages. We want to create eye-catching designs that capture our audience attention when they visit our sites. Let's see an SVG file in practice. For example the website blackbox.cool. If you notice the SVG file animates into a globe. It immediately captures your attention. The design is very beautiful, modern, and eye-catching. But in order to animate at such a high level, we first have to understand core fundamentals on the Animate Transform tag. And that's what this tutorial is for. Before we get started on this tutorial, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel so it could be easier for you to find my videos for future reference. Also in the description below, you can download all the project files that we're using in this tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at what we're going to be making. We're going to be replicating the Cube Case Inc. logo. Here's our SVG file, and as you can see, it animates continuously. Let's go over to Adobe Illustrator file. Let's create a new document. We're going to make it 100 by 100. We're going to use units as points, custom. Once we have a document, let's go ahead and select our polygon tool and make a hexagon right in the center. Hold down Shift. We want to let go and no fill. Direct selection. Right click, we want to transform and rotate it. We're going to rotate it 30 degrees. Once it's rotated, we deselect and grab our pen tool. Find our anchor point. All the way around. Close it. We want to grab our direct selection tool and bring this point to the center. Perfect. Grab our selection tool again and let's put a color for the fill. Something interesting. All right. Once we have that, let's select the whole image. Control G or right click group. Once we have it grouped, we want to resize it. Hold down Shift and Alt. And let's move it over to a corner over here. A little bit smaller. Perfect. We're done. We're going to go to File, Save As. We'll save it on the desktop as an SVG file. We'll call it Cube and Save. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to need a text editor for the next part. Here's our file that we created. Inside of our text editor, let's create a new HTML document, file, save as, go ahead and save it on the desktop as animate.html. Once the file is created, let's go ahead and link our cube SVG file to our HTML. Using the image tag, we'll give it a source cube.svg and a height of 350 pixels. All right, let's go ahead and save this. Let's open our SVG file in our text editor as well. And let's go ahead and preview this. There we go, so it's coming up in the web browser. Let's begin with the animation. With our cube file open, we want to create our new tag animate transform in between the group tags. So animate transform forward slash and in between this go ahead and press enter twice to create some space. This tag here is going to animate everything inside this group tag. So let's give it a couple attributes. The first one is the attribute name call it transform. The next one is the type. There are five different types. There's translate, scale, rotate, skew x, and skew y. We're going to be looking at translate. The next two attributes are from 
and 2. We could think of these two tags like a graph. We want it to move from this point to this point. Also our begin tag we'll give it 0 seconds. Our duration, let's make the duration 3 seconds and the repeat count indefinite. We want it to be continuous. We save it. Let's go ahead and start moving it. With the translate type, basically we tell it to move the current position from its 0, 0. And we're going to tell it to move 50, 0. Save it. And we could preview that. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next step. Let's create that previous logo we were looking at. For that, we have to copy our first object. And let's go ahead and paste it underneath here as a new instance. We'll save it. Basically, one's on top of each other, so we're going to change the position of it. For the second one. The second one, we want to tell it to be start at 50, comma 50, and move 0, comma 50. Save that, and let's preview that. Perfect. We're going to do the same thing two more times. So we get the illusion that this is rotating. So again, we're going to copy this, create a space, and paste it. Now we're going to change the from and to of this one as well. This one, instead, we want it to start at 0, from 0, 050, and go to 0, 0. Save it, and let's refresh it. There we go. It's creating the illusion that it's rotating. So let's create the final one. With our same copy in the clipboard, let's create our final one. And this one's going to be, this one we wanted to move 50, 0. And on the bottom, 50, 50. Let's save it and preview that. There we go. So the logo creates the illusion that it's constantly rotating in a circular motion. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you need to take a look at the project files that I used in this tutorial, check out the description below. Be sure to check out svgpro.com. And again, thanks for watching. My name is Bryant, and I will see you next time.